Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 17. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how to create a navigation in Bootstrap. So uh, Bootstrap actually has this really simple nav component that we're able to make use of. And it actually comes with two different styles of navigation. So if you take a look at my browser over here, uh, we've got the first style, which is called a pulled navigation. And I guess it's called a pulled navigation because each one of these menu items, when you hover over, it gets a background color and it kind of looks like a bunch of pills. Okay, then the second one is obviously a tab navigation and you can see that each one of these items kind of looks like a tab. So the uh, home item looks like it's a tab that's closed at the moment, whereas our profile item is our active item and that one looks kind of like an active um, tab or an open tab, right? So that is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do in this tutorial. And we're also able to add drop downs and uh, a few other cool classes to all of this. So I'm gonna show you guys how all of that works. And uh, I just wanna mention before we get tucked into all of the code that uh, I am using code from the previous tutorial. So we have always been using this head and this body and um, I am using a container, a row, and a column that is taking up the full 12 columns. So it's taking up the full width of our container. Okay, and from here, I'm going to add uh, an unordered list to, to start creating this menu. So that is kind of like the standard thing is we always um, create our menus inside of unordered lists. So I'm gonna open up an unordered list over here, so which uh, is gonna start with UL. I'm gonna hit enter, and because I'm using Sublime, it auto completes all of that for me. Then I'm going to add a class, so let's type in class. I'm gonna set that equal to nav, so we have a class of nav, but I'm also going to add a secondary class, which is nav-tabs. And this is going to create a tabbed navigation, which is this bottom navigation that you can see over here. So, uh, from here, we need to add in a bunch of list items because that's what we put in an unordered list, right? So let's go ahead and uh, open up an li tag and I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna close it off for me. Then I'm going to add an a or an anchor link in between these unordered list or these list items. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter over here and that's gonna auto complete my uh, link as well. So. Uh, from here, I'm just gonna make the href of my link to be hash, and I'm going to add some text. So let's create the first link, or make the first link be a link to the homepage. Um, and uh, there's a helicopter flying over. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, uh, it's kind of distracting me. So an unordered list, we have a list item, and from here, I'm gonna just duplicate this list item a couple times by hitting Command Shift D on my Mac, uh, and that's going to duplicate the item. Uh, but I guess that's only if you're using Sublime and if you're using a Mac, because if you're using Windows, it's probably gonna be like Control Shift D or uh, something else. You might have to Google it. Okay, so uh, we have our home page. Now let's create a link or make the next link a profile link and a messages link and um, yeah, I think we can just leave it at these three for now. But what I wanna do is go over to this this first list item and I'm going to add a class over here of active. And what this active class does is it just makes this the active list item. So in other words, it's gonna pull through the styling to either make, if we're using a uh, tab navigation to make that list item our active tab so i've done this using the home page um, which means our home should be the active list item otherwise if you're using a pulled navigation it's going to have that background color so let's hit refresh and here you can see that now we've got our tab navigation and our home link is the active link so that's the one with this class over here right uh, and i can also change this so like I said, instead of using the nav-tabs, we can use nav-pulls, uh, so nav-pulls as a class. 
and come back here and hit refresh. And you can see that now we're using the pulled navigation. So um, now it looks like everything is a pull instead of a uh, bunch of tabs, right? Uh, so that's quite simple. And uh, there's a few other classes that we can um, add to our menu item. So the first class that I want to show you guys is going to be called nav dash justified. And if you go ahead and type that in as a class on your unordered list, then what it's going to do is justify all of these uh, links. So it's going to make them take up as much space as possible without going over two lines. So if I hit refresh, you can see that here we've got our home link and you can see it's now really big than our profile link and our messages link and they are taking up the full width of the container right so yeah that's how, that's what nav justified does and uh, the next class I want to show you guys is nav dash stacked and I might have to change the size of my column over here as well um, so let me just hit save and I'll show you what a nav stacked does let's hit refresh and you can see that now we've got our home link taking up the full width of the container, our profile link underneath that, and our messages link underneath that, right? So um, yeah, that's because we're using nav stacked, so it stacks the navigations on top of each other. And ideally what you do here is maybe make this column uh, take up three columns, and then you'd make another column below this with some content. So uh, if I hit refresh, you can see that now we have um, our uh, navigation taking up only three columns. And then if we added another column uh, below this in the code, it would appear over here. So we'd have our content next to our navigation, right? Uh, so you could do that if you wanted to do that as well. But let's change this column back to take up the full width. And I'm going to remove this nav stack class. And I want to show you guys how to add a drop down menu or a drop down nav to, or yeah, drop down link to this navigation. So let's go ahead and um, copy this uh, list item. And I'm going to change the text over here to be drop down. And what we need to do is inside of this link, so make sure you're doing it inside of this A tag, we need to add another span tag. And I'm going to end that span tag off. And we need to give this class or this span tag a class of carrot. And what that does is it makes a little um, carrot or that little triangle thing, right? Uh, and from here, we need to start adding our sub nav or our drop down nav. So I'm going to hit enter. Make sure that your closing list item is uh, below your opening list item over there. And in between these two list items, but outside of this link, we need to create an unordered list. So I'm going to say UL, and I'm going to hit enter. That's going to close it off for me. Uh, and we need to give this UL or this unordered list a class. So I'm going to uh, give that a class of drop down dash menu, just like that. Okay, and I need to just take a look at my notes quickly. <laughs> so uh, we have a unordered list with a class of drop down menu, then we also need to go over to this link above here. And we need to give this a class as well. So let's give it a class. And we'll set that equal to uh, drop down dash toggle. And then we also need to give this another attribute, which is data dash toggle. So if you watch the, guy, the last tutorial, then you notice that we're kind of just bringing all of the code from the last tutorial and combining it into this tutorial to make this drop down, uh, which is now data toggle needs to be set to drop down. And uh, that should be fine. Uh, now we just need to give this drop down list some list items. So maybe what we do is we just copy that and we say item one and then uh, just copy that a couple times. So two, three, and we'll say item two and item three. Save that, come back here, hit refresh. And now when I click on my drop down list, I should have item one, item two, and item three. So yeah, that's how you add a drop down link 
to your navigation. You just need to make sure that you have um, this unordered list within a list item and make sure you add all those classes in correctly. Uh, well, in correctly, not incorrectly, because that would obviously mean that you're not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That could be confusing, but um, yeah, that is all I have for you guys in this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Don't f or feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow.